Hello guys, welcome to FM 2020, a new team and tactics guide. Today we are in Italy and we are going to check Udinese, a very interesting club to manage. We are going to check their best players, what kind of tactic best suits for this team and players that you should try to sign. First, let's see all the players and their current and potential abilities. And the best player at Udinese right now is Rodrigo De Paul, fantastic Argentinian attack method with a current ability 148. Really classy passing skills, uh, great dribbling, fantastic flair, so he's unpredictable. Plus he has nice speed, acceleration 14, pace 14, can play in many positions. Then we have uh, Juan Musso, Argentinian sweeper keeper, current ability 137. Rolando Mandragora, Italian deep line playmaker, really great player and plus very young. Still didn't reach his full potential, potential ability 159, that's really wow. Then we have Danish fullback, that's uh, Jens Larsen, very interesting player, current ability 133, Seko Fofana, Ivorian box-to-box -box midfielder, uh, with the current ability, is, uh, his current ability is 132, uh, then William Trostikong, uh, Nigerian central defender, okay, his current ability is uh, 132, we have uh, then Rodrigo, another central defender, another Brazilian. We see many Brazilians and many Argentinians, yeah. Almost all the best players are from South America. Then uh, I have, uh, Udinese has one really great uh, strike in my opinion, that's Kevin Lasagna. Pressing forward or advanced forward, very fast, this is what I like to see. Great movement, uh, nice finishing. Uh, we see that his uh, current ability is 131. But now let's see, do we have some young players with a really high potential? We spoke about Rolando Mandragora, he is uh, 22, great potential ability, he's going to improve for sure. Uh, then we see that we have 21 years old uh, Spanish false nine, that's Cristo, he's on loan at Huesca. Not bad potential ability, uh, 148. Uh, then a 19 years old Filip Vasco, Slovakian central defender, potential ability 141, okay, 21 years old Giuseppe Pizzala, uh, he's actually on loan at Parma and joining permanently, he has nice potential, interesting kid, potential ability 139, okay, the other players are not that young and don't have such a great potential, but now let's see under 20 squad, and there we have really bunch of great kids, uh, like this one, Mamadou Koulibaly, uh, box-to-box midfielder, potential ability 149, then Manuel Gasparini, Italian sweeper-keeper, great potential, really, 147. Uh, then Nicolas Sopoku, central defender, uh, we won't forget about Simone Scafet, uh, Italian sweeper keeper. So we have many young great goalkeepers, yeah. Okay, also uh, we have uh, Federico Ermacora, Italian full back, really good potential, 140. Another player with a good potential, Riyad Baic, uh, but the only problem is he's 25 years old, so he won't improve too much. Okay, so. These are the best young players that Udinese has. But let's see on the rating squad. Uh, there I don't see any quality kid. I don't see some uh, good wonder kids. Okay, now I will show you the best tactic uh, for Udinese. Okay guys, so this would be my first team and I would play in formation 3, 2, 2, 1, 2. In attack I would use Lasagna and Dokaka as a pressing forwards. Then behind them, De Paul, our best player, with a great passing skills, so he is going to feed your strikers with some nice passes. Okay, behind him, uh, Fofana, box-to-box -box meter, and Mandragora as deep line playmaker support duty. Left side, Sema, complete wing back support duty. Right side, Larsen, wing back automatic duty. And three central defenders, uh, Trusty Kong, uh, Neutrik, and De Mayo. Uh, on the goal, I would use uh, Juan Musso, fantastic sweeper keeper, actually. Uh, maybe you can use him uh, with attack or defend duty. He is really good goalkeeper. Okay, uh, now I will show you some players that you should try to sign. We can see that Udinese has around 7 million in transfer budget, so this is not big money, we can't afford some really expensive players. And this is my list of players that you should try to sign. First on that list should be David Calabria, Italian wing back, really good player, uh, we need another wing back for this side, um, and his price is between uh, 9 and 14 million, I think that you can afford him, then Bremer, Brazilian central defender, if you are going to play with three central defenders, you need one more great central defender, and Bremer is very young, very interesting player, 
price between 6 and 10 million he's not that expensive uh, then we have Lianco another Brazilian ball playing defender fantastic central defender if you ask me and cheap uh, between 8 and 12 million okay next next on my list is Juan Jesus Brazilian central defender another Brazilian really fantastic central defender and price between 4 and 6 million this is really nothing Okay, next on my list would be Danilo Cataldi, Italian deep line playmaker. Check his attributes. He's really perfect players player and he's not expensive at all. I mean, his price is between 5 and 7 million. Check his long shots, free kicks, determination. Very, very interesting player. Okay, then uh, we need maybe one more wing back. Uh, that's uh, so you can buy Levin Kurjava. He's playing for Paris Saint-Germain and he's very cheap. Price between 2 and 4 million. Okay, and a uh, player that you really must buy, that's Christian Gunther. German wing back, uh, fantastic speed, uh, really good technical attributes. And his price is between uh, 6 and 9 million. Okay, last on my list is one fantastic wonder kid. That's Giacomo Raspadori, Italian advanced forward. He's going to be probably one of the best strikers in this league if you give him some nice trainings. Uh, really almost all the important attributes for a great advanced forward are there. And his potential ability is 169. This is really wow. But the only problem is that his price is around 20 million. Yeah, they accepted my offer of 20 million. Okay guys, so this is my team and tactics guide for Udinese, a very interesting club to manage. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Anyway guys, stay home, be safe and see you. Bye bye.